many slopes and a bit about the formation of this area of Washington? Well, this is a very unique area, not only in Washington, but in the world in terms of the geology and the landforms. So we, we can sit, but it's easy to explain because it's relatively recent history that's formed all of this. There's no doubt some very complex stuff underneath deep down, but uh, about 15 million years ago, a very uh, large event of uh, lava outflows occurred uh, covering this entire region in up to two miles uh, deep of uh, lava and subsequently basalt rock. So it almost er it erased the chalkboard, so to speak. So we were starting from a blank slate, a flat uh, lava bed. Well, in the time between then and now, a river flowed through um, and laid down gravel and sand. Uh, wind deposited loam uh, from dust and the uh, dust storms uh, over the millennia. And then there were flooding events, uh, the Missoula floods. Uh, coupled with that was a folding of tectonic forces that caused uh, the uplift of these hills. So what you, what you started with was a flat lava, river deposits, sand came in, blown in, or loam, lus, and then the, the region was squeezed and the hills uplifted, lifting these sediments on top of the basalt rock. So what we have that's very unique, uh, the forces are such that it formed a series of east-west running ridges, almost like an accordion, so to speak. So down along the Columbia River to the south, you have Canoe Ridge, and then you have the Horse Heaven Hills, then you have Snipes Mountain, where we're standing, then north, to the north, we have the Rattlesnake Ridge, then the Saddle Mountains, then the Frenchman Hills, and then the Beasley Hills. So we have this series of east-west running hills, which give us south slopes and north slopes and sprinkled within we have uh east and west uh, facing slopes as well but 